All right, time for the SAT question of the day. A manager estimates that if the company charges P dollars for their new product, where blah, then the revenue from the product will be blah, dollars each week. According to this model, for which of the following values of P would the company's weekly revenue for the product be the greatest? So we need to figure out if we charge P dollars for the product, we get the revenue is this function, R of P, right? So the revenue, how much money they make, is equal to this equation. So we want to figure out when, with some given P, one of these values here, which uh, value would give us the highest R of P. So a lot of ways we can do this, some more elegant than others. The first most, I think, inelegant way to do it is just take the answers and plug them in and see what gets you the highest number. So plug in 10. So do 2,000 times 10 plus, or sorry, minus 10 times 10 squared. And you're going to get, what is that, uh, 19,000, whatever it might be. Do that for all five, and you're going to do that, and you're going to find that D will get you the highest number. Now, that is the most inelegant because you have to plug it in. There's some chances to make errors, and it takes a while. There's a quicker, a couple quicker ways that you might want to do it. The first is if you're familiar with the uh, standard form of a parabola, AX squared plus BX plus C. Notice here we have r of p is basically bx minus ax squared. If we remember what the axis of symmetry is, that can help us. Because remember that for a parabola, the main thing to, for this parabola problem, because it's a parabola, is the symmetry of the parabola. So we have a parabola that opens down because of the minus a. So it looks something like this. So the maximum value, the maximum revenue is going to be this top point right here. That's the highest the parabola goes. So we need to find that top point. So one way to think about it is, going back to this, if you think of some stuff from math class, this is the axis of symmetry, right? This is the place where the uh, parabola turns. It's also the, where the maximum is going to be. And we get that by doing minus b over 2a. So minus b over 2a will give us the x-coordinate for the, the axis of symmetry. In this case, the p-value for the axis of symmetry, which is what we're looking for. So in this case, we would just do uh, 10, uh, sorry, 2,000 over uh, 2a, so 20. And that gives us 100. Again, that's the answer. So that's one way to do it. But both of these ways are not really great because they're not really the SAT way. The first way, I mean, it, the first way is an SAT way. It's just brute forcing. The second way is a bit more advanced. Not really one you need to know. The second best way is just to look at the parabola itself and the symmetry of the parabola. So notice this parabola is going to start at 0, 0. It's going to start at the origin because notice if I plug in 0 for p, I get 0 for r. So it's going to look something like this. And same thing if I plug in uh, 200 for this guy within this range. Uh, I plug in 200, I also get 0. So what is the middle point of this graph? Well, the middle point is going to be right here. It's going to be equal to x is 100. And that, by the symmetry of the parabola, is going to have to be the highest point. So that's probably the most elegant way of doing it, is seeing the symmetry, seeing the general shape of the curve, and realizing that it's going to be d. But either way, any way you want to do it is fine, as long as you get the answer, as long as you understand it, that's what matters.